Can you imagine doing something that was so powerful it changed the way people look at their lives? Because that's what we were doing. That's all it was. Well, it started out to be, you know, just a pastime we had when it was hot outside during the summer. It turned into the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, it was silly, but it was something that we loved to do. We just loved getting those silly bouncy balls and throwing them against walls, at people. Just the act was all we needed. I remember um, the guys, they kind of saw me as like the innovator, kind of like the Albert Einstein of bouncy balls. We're talking about the founding fathers of this game. It all started with myself, Domino, Joey J, and J Squirt. We really, you know, got this thing rolling and it turned out to be a big success. What you need to understand is, this game had rules, I mean, we had standardized balls, and I think at that point that's when we realized, this thing, this thing can move from here, we can go further. I remember my second year of high school, I was walking down the hall just bouncing away, and this girl came up to me and she recognized me. You didn't recognize? What? I mean, we were just a couple kids out there throwing the ball for fun, and then this guy, Creamy Alex, comes along and changes the whole thing up. I was like, Alex Keaton? Doesn't that guy ride the short bus to school? He just brought so much talent, so much innovation. It really was a sight to see. We had at least 30 shots. The rail bounce. The whatever. The face mash. I mean, now we're getting booked for malls, laundromats, internet cafes. We did initially have some trouble locating the balls after we would throw them. The bouncy balls were really the heart and soul of our game. We had uh, individual names for each of the balls we used. Green Ninja Turtle, Red Dragon, Brain Coral, The Argyle Sphincter, Strawberry Creamsicle, Stoner Delight, Tutti Frutti. No one ever uses Tutti Frutti. Miami Vice, and the 13th chromosome. I mean, we were flying higher than Wiz Khalifa on a Nimbus 2000. That is, until uh, the day of the fight. What's that old saying? Too much of a good thing isn't a good thing? That pretty much sums it up. We didn't think it was possible for us to fail. That was a huge mistake. We were on top of the world. Everything was just smooth sailing until the accident, and I, I just realized that I just, I couldn't do this anymore. So the accident, is that, uh, that I got the scar? Thanks, question. And then it became more than bouncing. There was the drugs, the booze, the girls. Oh man, the girls. What was it like this a year ago? It was just too much. And then, you know, on top of all that, what happened to Creamy Alex? I missed him. I mean, it wasn't his fault, but I missed my best friend. So finally, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, well, this isn't what I thought it would be. This isn't enjoyable. This is supposed to be a good time. This can't be how our story is going to end. I used to tell my mom that I was going to a, a study group. I remember I'd leave and she'd say, have fun studying. Yeah, mom, studying. <laughs>